A New Kind of Library by ReadWorks. Does your school have a library? It probably does. The first libraries belonged to ancient kings. In the Middle Ages, monasteries and convents had libraries. The books in those libraries were written by hand, and they had pictures painted beside the words. In the United States, most cities have public libraries. Inside most libraries are hundreds of books and sometimes more. Many of which are available for taking home. Of course, you have to bring any book you borrow back to the library when you're done. Libraries help people find information. As the ways people find information change, libraries need to change too. The internet is a tool that helps people find information much faster than if they were to look in books. So a lot of libraries have begun using computers and technology to help people keep learning. The New York Public Library is the most famous library in New York City. When the main branch was opened in 1911, it had a collection of over one million books. Outside this main building. Two giant stone lions guard the entrance. Since the library is over one hundred years old, bringing in new technology is not easy. The New York Public Library now has computers in every building. You can use the computers to go on the internet or to write a paper. The librarians will help if you have a question. And there are even free classes to help people learn how to use new computer programs. But this is only the beginning of how the library wants to use technology. In the basement of the library, there is a room filled with computer programmers and designers who are bringing new technology to the library. This place is called the NYPL Labs. Ben Verschbell runs the NYPL Labs. He wants to help the library reach more people. Ben runs projects using crowdsourcing. Crowdsourcing means getting a lot of people involved to help with a project. Ben is currently using the internet to find people to help with the library's collection of menus. The library has thousands and thousands of old menus. You can see what people ate in the year nineteen hundred, and find out how much that food cost. In the past, only people in New York could use the New York Public Library. Now the library is online, and everyone can enjoy it. Thanks to technology, we have a new kind of library.